guys! So today we are finally doing this unboxing. This was a treacherous journey to get a hold of this item. It was insane. I've wanted this edition since I saw them be released and come out. Um, I was at work, it sold out. Long story short, I got it on a little, little restock on Best Buy and it didn't come in the expedited shipping. I was actually supposed to get this on Monday. It is now Friday, so I just got it. And they were encouraging me when I called Best Buy about the shipping to get the shipping refunded because they didn't get it in the time frame that I paid for. They were trying to tell me I needed to cancel it and that I probably wasn't going to get the item and I was super stressed out. And I was like, no, just leave it. And then within like 48 hours, it shipped. So I finally got it today. And then I also got something else that I had ordered, so we're just gonna unbox all of it today um, with you guys. I know it's a little bit late, but it's still fun, something for me to do, and I'm super excited to have this edition. For anybody wondering, I know the game is a little controversial and there's mixed opinions on it. Um, I did go to Target and purchase the physical copy knowing either way I wasn't going to have it until Monday or later with everything going on. Um, and I beat it on Sunday, I believe. I played it and I beat it and I'm still excited to receive these items so we'll leave it at that. But. I have the Last of Us Part 2 DualShock 4 Wireless Controller Limited Edition. I really like the design on it, so I decided to pre-order this at Best Buy, and that's how I got it, and I also really like the box. So I'm super excited to finally open this. Two weeks before the game came out, it was released on a Friday, and I got it from Best Buy. I had no notification, and I did the curbside, and I picked it up. And then today, it finally came in. I got the Last of Us game drive. This is the 2 terabyte Seagate game drive. You can kind of see it there, but we'll still unbox it. I use them all the time for my videos and everything, and I currently have, I think, a 1 terabyte external hard drive attached to my PlayStation, but I figured I would upgrade to the 2 terabyte. and again, I really enjoy Ellie's tattoo design that is on here. I think it looks really clean. I also pre-ordered the art book but that still hasn't shipped yet. I don't know when I'm gonna get that. I know it came out like three days ago. We're just gonna move on. I don't really wanna flip through it because I don't wanna spoil the game for anybody, but I'm pretty sure it's inevitable that it's been spoiled for people, so. Then we have the big boy here. That is our Ellie edition that I'm super excited about. All right, let's slice this thing open and see what it looks like. This is my first, I think, collector's edition. This is so intense. Okay. Wow, this is very convenient how they made these spacers. Oh no. That didn't work. Let's see if I can take it out. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's literally so heavy. Holy crap, it's huge. Oh my gosh. This thing is humongous. Ugh. I don't know if I can show you guys the front. It looks so awesome. I love the detail for a tattoo. And on the back, it shows everything. I'm kind of already aware of what's inside, but I have not watched any unboxing, so see it for myself. But we're gonna turn this camera around and do some close-up unboxings of all these goodies. I guess we're just gonna open it. I don't know what angle this is, but... Oh my gosh, is this another box? Inside of a box? How? Oh my god! Oh my god! This is the content that y'all signed up for, I guess. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Whoa! This is just the lid? I guess that's a thing that just happened. We have our lid here that just says The Last of Us. I think I'm gonna bring the camera close again 
and forget this angle because I can't see. So this is a little miniature art book. So this is what it looks like. We've got a picture of Ellie there. We'll flip through this in a second, but this is the art book. And then this right here. We'll slide this out and see what this is. Oh wow. This is really, really pretty. So we've got a really pretty picture of Ellie here with the city. I don't know if this is in Seattle. I'm gonna assume so because she's on the horse. There's a nice little note here from Neil. This is the steel book. So on this side we have Ellie. Some really nice paint marks in the background. I really like the colors. And then on this side we have Abby. I really like this um, picture of her and I like the coloration differences like how Ellie's a cool tone and Abby's a warm tone. I see some other stuff in here as we take this apart. Some plastic. We'll slide this out. We've got a nice little tray here. So this looks to be um, some stickers. So we've got Ellie's tattoo and some Naughty Dog. And it looks like it says The Last of Us. We have this really nice enamel pin set. I really like these pins. I love the stop sign. And I really like, of course, just the standard Last of Us and the moth. I really, really like the moth as well. So these are some really nice enamel pins with the standard black backing. And this is really cool. This is a replica of Ellie's bracelet from Dina. It's really, really cool. I really like the color on it. Very simple but efficient. It's definitely something that you see often in the game and it's like a really small detail that I really appreciated. So it's a replica. You can hear the chain in there. You would be able to wear it if you wanted to. I don't think I would ever wear it because my wrists are super small. Too much. So then there's this tray, and there's this one. I'm going to assume that the record is in this one. Got some really pretty tree scenery. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know this was part of it. There's a Last of Us Part 2 iron-on patch. I've never seen this. And then, the main reason why I wanted this whole thing because I collect vinyl. Ellie Miniature 45 vinyl. It's got two songs. They are probably just like theme music. I don't think there's any singing. But super excited about this and we'll definitely be opening that to look at the pressing because I'm pretty sure it is a colored pressing. This I'm pretty sure is going to be Ellie's book bag. Fortunately both of the tabs popped off. But I'm pretty sure this is going to be a book bag, so we'll pull that out and we'll open that in a second. And then here, we have the big boy. That is the Ellie statue. So this is the box as well. Main box looks like, so when you put it back together, it just says The Last of Us Part 2. Also wanted to quickly show you guys my regular copy that I have. Um, just in case people are curious or don't believe me, but I do have the standard copy. Now we have our collectible statue that we're going to open. A little interesting. Oh my god, she's huge! Oh, I love the smell. You know what the smell reminds me of when I would get new Power Ranger action figures? So let's take her out. This is what she looks like. 
A lot of people have mentioned um, that I have seen that it doesn't really look like her. Kind of see that, but I, I still think that like you could tell definitely this is Ellie. And she's playing the guitar, and she has her tattoo, and her little friendship bracelet. But yeah, it looks really nice, and I like that they put the little plastic piece on here to protect. And then we have her book bag, and it's got the enamel pins on it. And I love the detail on the statue. It's it's a pretty heavy statue, but it's also pretty light in the sense that like it is just basically plastic. And I love that the blood is glossy. I think it looks really, really nice, and I like her little loose strand of hair that she has here. And I love the detail in her hair. This hairstyle I really, really liked her having. We're gonna start to open up these other trays. And then the art book seems to be a lot of character design, relaxing artwork to see for the main characters as well as the little groups, all the Dina sketches and the Ellie sketches. Since I was most excited for the vinyl, it does come in like a little sleeve. I don't think this is a reusable sleeve because of the stickiness. Um, you'd have to get like your own little sleeve, which I have plenty of. It does look like it opens up. So that's pretty cool. And then we have Abby on the inside. So we have Ellie. And then it switches to Abby. And the vinyl is inside of an inner sleeve. If you guys watch some of my videos, you know how I feel about the inner sleeves. And there's a really cool little tattoo design on each side. You guys see? Ooh, it's a really bright blue. It's almost purple. That is really pretty. I don't have a blue that's pressed like this. And it's also on a wax paper insert, so it prevents static, in case you guys didn't know about that. And then next up we have the book bag replica. I know that this is something a lot of people were interested in. I'm curious to see if it has the pins on it or not. Oh my gosh, it does! Okay, and they're like actual pins. Wow, let's go ahead and open this up, I guess. Oh, this is really cool. I guess it is kind of on the smaller side of a book bag when you look at the um, statue. I definitely feel like if you actually use this book bag, you wouldn't want that to get wet, that it would definitely ruin it. So the pins can actually be taken off. I'm gonna leave them because I want them to be as close to the book bag as possible does also have the side straps, so like where she puts her machete. They are here, and then there's some on this side as well. And then if you were to undo those, you can get to the inside. There is a little extra pocket as well, so you do have that. Oh my gosh, there's actually a back pocket too. So there's, there's, okay. <laughs> There's a pocket on each side, but they don't connect. So then you get one, two, three, four, you get five pockets. So you could actually put a lot of stuff in this bag. And it is a pretty decent size material that it's made out of. I don't think it would really hold up. I guess I am going to open up the steel book because I'm not going to sell it or anything, but I want to see if the inside looks any different. Oh, plus my digital codes are in here, so I needed this anyway. So this is how the discs are put in, but it's a really nice, pretty steelbook. Now we'll go ahead and open up the stickers here just to see what the different kinds of stickers are. So there's Ellie's tattoo. There's two different Naughty Dog. And there's two different Last of Us Part 2. All right, so that's everything that you get in the Ellie edition. Let's go ahead and open up our other things here, like our game drive. Don't really care if I ruin this packaging because I'm not going to be saving it. Whoa. Okay. And a quick start guide. If you've used a hard drive, you should know what this is. Got the little USB cable, and we have the hard drive right here, which looks really, really clean. 
I really like how the tattoo is actually etched into the hard drive and it's not printed on. You can see how it's etched there where this is printed. You can see the difference from the light balance. And then on the back we have more of the Seagate logo. It gets really nice, so really happy to have this. I will be using it with my PlayStation. Now we have the controller, which I'm super excited to see. So you guys can see on the touchpad you have The Last of Us Part 2, it's got a nice gloss finish to it. And then on the right side, you can see her tattoo also has the gloss finish. And I really like that the buttons are not colored, that they kept them white. And this is more of a gray finish, um, it's definitely not black, and I really really like the gray honestly. Joysticks aren't stuck. or flaggy. I really again just like the simplicity of this design. I think it's eff effective and um, I really really like it. So that's everything that I got for The Last of Us Part 2. Um, I don't know why I did it like that. This, otherwise this is for. Um, I definitely really really like the controller. I think this was probably one of the best decisions I ever made was to purchase this controller. It is beautiful. I really, really like it. I also do really like the hard drive. I think it's very pretty again, and I think that they look really good together. If you guys didn't know, I will soon be streaming on Twitch, hopefully within the next two weeks. I'm waiting for some stuff to come in the mail. My Twitch is down in the description if you guys want to follow me. Um, it'd really, really help me out if you guys just follow me, and we'll do some video games and some food stuff and a bunch of things, but I'm super excited, and The Last of Us Part 2 may be one of the games that I start streaming first. I really like the steelbook as well. I think it's a really pretty steelbook, and of course the statue is really, really nice as well, and again, it's a pretty big statue. The main reason why I bought it, the vinyl, I love, and I'm super happy. That I got it. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys played the game or not and no spoilers but just let me know if you enjoyed it or not as well and I will see you guys again very very soon. Peace out Girl Scouts.